Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anirudh and um, today we are going to be talk talking about a product that we have received multiple inquiries. Um, uh, most often than not, when we receive these inquiries, we are finding out that customers are not having much of an idea when they purchase their LED lights. Uh, so this light is specifically made for badminton, uh, squash, football purposes. So if you want a badminton court or any sports uh, complex, this video is going to come handy for you. Um, the problem uh, with uh, purchases is that when they make the initial buy, they look at the rates and when the rates are low, they buy it and after six, six months to one year in, they find out that uh, the lights get dulled or it starts to have a gloomy effect. So I think uh, a lot of things goes into making um, uh, the lights for such a giant application. So uh, delving into the product itself, uh, this is our LED sports panel and it has a nice metal body frame to it uh, and we have an aluminium PCB boards and the LED on this PCB board is placed by our own pick and place machines. If you want to have a draw, a drop, uh, if you want to have a look at our factory you are most welcome. I will put the description in the link below. Uh, these are awesome LED chips uh, with 24 and 24 plates in series. Uh, these are German chips so uh, the quality is assured. Um, so what uh, one mistake that the, uh, the competitors do is that um, if, if your LED can go up to 1 watt, they drive it up to 1 watt and they lesser the number of LEDs uh, so that they can save their costs. But that is actually the wrong procedure. For example, uh, to, to describe it in non-technical terms, if you buy a vehicle and if the vehicle can go up to 200 km per hour, it's quite illogical to drive it at 200 km per hour because your vehicle would get damaged. So you always say in the safe zone between 100 to 120 maximum. So the same concept applies here. So these are 1 watt LEDs each with uh, and they are always driven at 0.8 to 0.9 watt approximately. So um, we always stay in a safe zone. So 40 LEDs uh, driven at 0.8 to 0.9 watts will give you about 43 to 45 watts approximately. Uh, the next contributing factor to why this, this light outworks the other, other products is uh, our Fulham drivers. So these are what uh, we call uh, isolated drivers. Um, and uh, the products that people use in the market have non-isolated drivers. Now the basic difference uh, is that isolated drivers have uh, a power transformer and non-isolated drivers don't. And non-isolated drivers are meant for small applications such as tube lights uh, and, and etc. So the main difference is that isolated drivers have a power transformer so that uh, your lights are su not susceptible to a AC surge from, from the main. Another important factor uh, about this product is our anti gearing sheets. Now one of the main things uh, you need to ensure while building a badminton court or any sports arena is glare. You would not want the players to feel any glare. So these are uh, specially made anti-glaring sheets and if you notice they have small prisms on them. Uh, as you know if you, pass a, if you pass light through a prism, the prism will sort of expand the light. So the same concept applies here. So when you place this on the product itself, uh, you're going to have a diversified expanded light travel effect and then comes uh, your uh, electricity bill so, so now since we use lower wattage but higher lumen chip electricity consumption would be about uh, 50 rupees per day provided that you use it for about 10 hours a day uh, and if you're interested in buying this product or checking out any other products feel free to drop by your factory anytime thank you